Now that we've kind of laid down the 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 Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a winged liner tutorial specifically for hooded eyes. So I think this technique will work really well for any type of hooded eye, um, even more so if you have a really heavy fold. My fold isn't like super severe, uh, but it's there and it's in the way. I do the wing without actually lining my entire lid. This allows more visible lid space when your eyes are open. And if you have a really heavy fold and you don't even see your lid at all when your eyes are open, this works really well for you as well, even more so. I feel like I'm kind of talking in circles here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. <laughs> First, we're gonna start by prepping our eyes as per usual. My favorite is the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. For me, this works really well at preventing my lids from getting super oily and creasing throughout the day. And as with any cream or liquid, you want to set that. Today, I am using the Naked Basics palette. To set my base, I'm using Walk of Shame. And I'm gonna blend that out using a fluffy dome brush. This is the E40. It's an amazing brush. It's so soft and super fluffy. Now for my crease shadow, I'm using Naked 2. It's a couple shades darker. For the crease, because the crease is kind of hidden, I do apply the crease shadow in the crease, but I also bring it above the crease. So that way I give my eye a little bit more depth and dimension and that depth and dimension isn't just hidden under my skin. That sounds really gross. <laughs> and I'm just going to work that in with windshield wiper motions as well as circular motions. So really blend that out nicely with a Smith 232 brush. Now that we've kind of laid down the the foundation of our eyes, we're going to jump in to the wing liner portion, the scary part. <laughs> so the first thing I like to do is line my top waterline with a black pencil liner. This one is the Tarte Colored Clay. Any black pencil liner will do. Preferably one that doesn't transfer too much, but if you want to transfer, then go for the one that transfers. What this is gonna do is really give the effect of a fuller lash line. Depending on how hooded your eyes are, you may or may not want to bring this all the way into the inner tear duct. I do bring it in, usually bring it in all the way. If you have a really heavy fold, you might want to avoid that. But this is going to help kind of give that illusion that you did line your entire lid, even though you didn't. So lining your top waterline can be a little tricky and super terrifying. For me, what I like to do is kind of look to the side in a mirror and make sure that I'm not gonna poke my eyeball out with my pencil. And I use my eyeball basically as a guide and run my pencil along my waterline. It does get a little crazy when I go into my inner corner because I somehow always mess that up and poke myself. <laughs> now that we've lined our top waterline, it's time to move on to the wing. So it's totally up to you what kind of liner you use, whatever you're most comfortable with, whatever seems to just work best for you. And if you're just starting off and you haven't really used anything, my personal preference is a liquid liner that has a kind of a brush tip. This one is the Kat Von D Trooper in the brush tip form. <laughs> a lot of people tend to really like the felt tips and I'm not super opposed to them, but sometimes they can kind of skip along your skin. So as you're dragging it, it kind of ends up skipping. <laughs> and then you have like dashes and it can get kind of messy, especially when they start to dry out. And that's really frustrating. So I definitely prefer one that is a brush tip. So for the wing, I know we hear it everywhere to use your bottom lash line as a guide and use that to kind of, um, guide you <laughs> uh, kind of towards your brow kind of where if your brow were to continue and your bottom lash line were continue and they would meet that may or may not work for your eye shape I do use my bottom lash line as a guide but if you have a really heavy fold you might want to bring your guide down just a little bit and maybe slightly under your lash line see if that works a little bit better that way you're not running into your fold. For me today, I am going to use my bottom lash line as a guide and I'm going to just draw a flick. And the flick doesn't have to be perfect. That's something you can go in and fix later. You just kind of want to get the angle right. 
And once you have your angle, you're going to want to go in and kind of create that little triangular shape. Usually I start at the base of my lash and kind of work it up. It kind of depends on the day and my mood. So I'm basically like filling in the triangle as I'm creating it, if that makes any sense. Once I've created my triangle and made sure it's fully filled in, then I will rotate my liner brush and set it against my lid. This gives me more control and allows me to get really close to my lash line. And I'm not going to line my entire lid. I'm actually going to stop right as I get to my iris. Again, keeping as close to the lash line as possible. And then I go and connect the triangle with the line that I just drew and make sure that's kind of a smooth transition there. <laughs> now once you've created both of your wings, you want to go ahead and check for balance and make sure that they're even and that your triangles are the same thickness. I really like my wing to kind of fade off, so I go in with this Sigma Flat Definer Brush. This is the E15, and I'll just dab it onto a makeup wipe to get it damp, and then I lay it flat against my face and really gently run the brush along the wing to sharpen it up and fade it out. And that's it for the wings. Super simple. It might take you a few practices to really get it down, but I think if you try this technique, you'll find that it's super, super easy. Now we're moving on to mascara and lashes. For mascara today, I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash. I'm giving my lashes a nice coat or two, really making sure that I'm getting at the base of the lash to ensure a really full long lash. And here's a look at the winged liner with just mascara. I actually really like how this looks with mascara alone, but I'm a lash girl, so I'm going to add lashes. <laughs> for lashes, I think one of the most flattering type of lashes to wear for hooded eyes is a lash that's a lot fuller and more flared at the ends and kind of tapers as you move into the inner corner. This really allows your eyes to lift and open more. The lashes I use today are the Ardell Demi Wispies. I'm a huge, huge fan of these lashes, especially if you have hooded lids. Now to open up the eyes a little bit more and bring a little bit more light and brightness to my eyes, I'm gonna go in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. Any kind of shimmery highlight will work. Are you guys that does it for my winged liner tutorial? I really hope you guys found this video helpful and informative in some way, especially if you're like me and you suffer from HES hooded eye syndrome. If you gave up on winged liner because you could just never get it right, please, please try this technique and let me know if it works for you. I really hope it does. This literally changed my wing game. It did. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found this video helpful in some way. Tag your hooded eye friends, share it with them. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and spending time with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.